Hey guys, welcome to Otaku Gaming. I am the Otaku, and today we'll be playing Star Wars Battlefront. I'm going to teach you how to not suck at infantry. Being a great infantry soldier is not just about getting a lot of kills. It's also about not dying, pushing your team to objectives, and winning the game. Choosing a defensive loadout will help you always stay offensive and be on the front lines. Most of the time you're going to want a jetpack. Why? Well, because there's an obnoxious amount of things that can kill you, but are easily countered by the jetpack. Grenades, barrage, orbital strike, homing missiles are all great examples of this. So stop using the jetpack just to fly around or jump above enemies, and start using it defensively to avoid racking up a huge death rate. Bodyguard is also great, and will reduce explosive damage by 30% at the first tier, then 50% on the second tier, and then reduce blaster damage by 30% on the third tier, which makes a whole world of difference. Situational awareness is hugely important in any shooter game. It simply means paying attention to what is going on around you. An example of being situationally aware is staying near cover. At no time should you ever be in the open unless it's moving from one cover to another. Walking in the open or standing there shooting enemies is just going to attract attention and get yourself killed. Be aware of where you are on the battlefield in relation to the enemies. Next, you're going to want to pay attention to what's displayed on your minimap. The circle means that enemies are right near you, so pay close attention. The cone will mean that enemies are in that general direction, but a little more distant. There's a last icon that displays near the edge of your map when enemies are far away. Also, if you are not at an objective, or heading towards an objective, then you are probably doing something wrong. So next is choosing your battles. Don't try to take on an ATST head-on by yourself. Shooting at it with a regular weapon is only going to do minimal damage and make the person driving it angry. Feeding it more kills is only going to make yourself useless. So equip some anti-vehicle weapons, get pickups, and take it out like that instead. Likewise, running into a group of enemies, taking out maybe one or two and then dying is not really the best strategy. If you want to engage a group, find a way to flank them catch them off guard. Otherwise, make sure you're peeking in and out of cover, letting your health reset when you're losing the gunfight. You should also be trying to use your weapons correctly and the way they were intended to be used. Don't try to snipe with a pistol and take out long range enemies, and don't use a very slow time to kill weapon at close range. You need to choose the correct one for your style, the map, and then play to those advantages so you're not losing all of your gunfights. You should also be doing your best to control your weapon and not let it overheat, period. Learn to toggle fire, or simply stop firing for a second and then resume. The time it takes to reset will always be much less than if it overheats. I'll have more videos coming up explaining the best cards, traits, weapons, and more. So subscribe, watch for those, and the last word of advice is may the force be with you.